Hey guys, I am Lissa. Um, I am a photographer in Northwest Arkansas and I photograph mainly seniors and weddings and um, use flower crowns a lot for both of those um, genres. So they're very um, fun right now and lots of people like to have them. And we had noticed that on the boards several times when there had been picture shares with people wearing a flower crown that people wanted a tutorial talking about them. So. We thought it would be fun to make a little one. Um, keep in mind that I am not a professional florist and that this is all very homemade and home done. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first what you need is floral tape. You can find this in the um, flower aisle of like Hobby Lobby or Walmart or anywhere where they sell, you know, the fake flowers. Um, like a dollar and then you also get these floral wires um, I don't know if they have a more technical name than that but yeah floral wires and you just need two and you just need one of these and then you need scissors they don't have to be fancy obviously since these are little kid scissors I don't know where my nice ones are and haven't for like a year <laughs> so all right and most importantly we have the flowers so right now I have three different kinds of flowers all of these um are from Walmart so keeping it very classy over here um, this does not have to be an expensive prop so <clears throat> I think all together this costs about $15 worth of flowers this was actually a big bouquet that I already made into a flower crown for a senior a couple of days ago but the flowers are still alive so we're gonna use them too and then these were just little bouquets at Walmart that were five bucks a piece the first thing you're gonna do is twist these together you don't want to twist them like this you want to twist them like this coming together I'm just gonna do the same thing on this other side super super simple alright so now comes the fun part um yeah this is all I do so you take this and what I do is I tear up a long piece right here this would kill my mom because she, when she makes these, she leaves it all attached and does a whole bunch of them. So there's different ways to do it. Like I said, all homemade, no professional skill in this. And then I take it and I do, I just wrap this. I'm going to wrap it, the stem all the way down. Alright, and so you see there's still some hanging right here. Um, what you'll do next is I will just pick another flower. I pick it random, so there's like an inch, inch and a half of stem here. Then you just plop it down on the other one. And since I covered that whole stem, which I don't always do, I'm gonna come back up here and wrap it again. So you'll see here that all the flowers are going this way. This makes sense since I taped them to go that way. The problem though is that if you do the whole crown like this, all the flowers are going to face the same way and um, it won't look good. It will look like the flowers are facing the same way, of course, and um, it won't flow and you also won't have any like sticking straight out. So what I do is after I start going for a while, I come back up here and now I'm going to tape that. And it doesn't matter to me um, if this stem sticks out in the back because it's in the back um, and you're not going to see it. So it can, this can kind of hang out loose down here if it wants to. So I'm going to take a big flower, got a big one, I'm just going to plop it right here. This is the easy way out. You can fix it in other ways um, just by keep doing the technique I was showing you before until they kind of match up. This is the easy way, and I like things easy, especially when this is just for 20 minutes of a photo shoot. So this crown is over halfway done, so the next thing we're going to want to do is try it on. So I can't see it obviously right now because I'm looking into a camera, but what I do is I will look in the mirror and I will arrange pieces to fit better. A lot of times they just need to be tucked, and they'll stay there after they have been tucked. Um, and then after this point, you know, I'll see if it looks best this way, if it looks best this way, then I need to add flowers here. If it looks best this way, I need to do both ways. If it looks best this way, then I need to go this way. 
yeah so super simple but it's something that's easy to forget to look in the mirror and make sure that the crown looks all right because it might look good in front of you but it won't look as good when it's on somebody's head okay we're almost done so thanks so much and um let me know in the comments if you have any questions and i will answer them for you okay thanks guys